Hello guys, today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to download Halo Custom Edition and put in the cursed Halo files into it. So, first of all, what you want to do is, um, I don't, I get down here, you click Mod Download and Instructions, although this will be in the description. And you come here. Now, if you don't have a Halo Custom Edition, uh, you want to go to Custom Edition Download and Custom Edition Patch 1.10. Those two have already got installed, although I can reinstall them. I'll just show you how to do it. And then over here, you click this, you click it, and it will start. It will bring a new tab open, close it, instantly start downloading thing. This is already in my Discord for those who are watching this for the help thing. Uh, you can skip to later on when I'm at the desktop. This will take a bit, it's 1.2 gigs. I don't have the best internet at the moment. I'm not going to install that because I've already got it installed. Now, over here, you have Halo Custom Edition, the game. Just click download, wait for it to go through, wait for this to count down. Your download will start in the bottom left. So we're just going to wait for that to go and happen. Hey, right, here we go. So in the bottom left here, it'll download. It won't take long. It's the exact same for the patch. And this over here, you can go to the server hosting stuff. I th think for a uh, guide for this. Uh, I'm not best that. You can read through this all in your own time if you need. I'll put a link in the description. This will be, and we can find our files. Mine is in the Steam games area because I moved it. So I've got like basically a pre-downloaded thing that I've got for my mates, and I've got the test Halo. So all that's inside here, which is the Halo CE patch and the Halo setup. Those two will be in zip files. You uh, except Halo setup, Halo patch will be in a zip file. You just take out the patch thing and do that. Now what I'm going to do is since I've already got Halo installed, I'm going to do this right here. I'm going to delete Halo right now. Go into recycling. And completely delete it. Now that'll take a little bit. All you want to do now is go Halo Setup. And you want to find a code online. But you can just use the code that I'm using here. So you want to run the Halo Z Setup. It may bring up like an admin privileges thing. Okay, yes, that's completely fine. All right here. Now we can close this. Now, click install. And when this image thing loads, because it's a piece of shit, uh, you can take any of those codes. They should all work. See, uh, you can just, you know, take a picture or something. They're all here. I'll probably put them all in the description maybe, or just put the one that I use in the description. Whichever one of those two. Now, that I'm just going to use. I'm going to take it over to my second screen, which won't be on camera, just to input it. Okay, there we go, code. We are next. And mine, I must have inputted. Yeah, I did input something wrong here. I put the two in server three. Here I have this all, that doesn't really matter. Go next. Now, here, you do not want to install Dame Spy Arcade. You can, but there's no point since the Dame Spy servers are no longer up. I wouldn't even bother. And it works completely fine without it. I've tried multiple times, I've downloaded this and played it. Now you can choose to install for all users and stuff. Maybe you don't want to do it, maybe you just want it on your account. I'm gonna put it just, uh, no, I'm gonna do all users. And create desktop icon, that's pretty good. Now you just go install, you can change, but I recommend leaving it in the C file, your C drive. 
or just don't change it at all, just leave it sort of thing. It'll create a new sort of folder onto your desktop. You should be fine. I forgot to actually change it, so I don't know where it's gone to. <laughs> but I may have to reinstall it because I forgot to change it. But after this, just check your files. See which one has the file in it. Should we good? Although, what you'll do is, when you install it, you'll change it to a directory to a folder that you have on your desktop. And you'll be good to go. I just didn't do that because I'm a numpty. Which I can fix that later. Easy as piss. Okay, now once you've gotten to here, you want to minimize this. And let's check this. So I need to find the file. Alright, here it is. So I'm pretty sure what it will just do is it will create a custom edition Halo folder. Like that. And that will have everything that you need. It has the content, the controls, maps, and all that. You're all set. Now what you want to do now is you want to bring up your your patch. So while you still got this open, or well you can close this, but I recommend keep leaving it open. You run your patch. All that's going to do is it's going to update your Halo game to the 1.10 patch, which is the community um, custom edition, which basically just allows you to play on servers. Now once this again anything was successfully updated, <laughs> you click OK, you can close that, and you can run it through here. Everything works and all that, you'll be able to run it straight up. Uh, I'm not going to do that at the moment. I'm going to insert, so in this file for my friends, I got all the maps in here that you'll need. Although I messed up a bit, so I'm going to, I've sent them a link for the cursed Halo zip file. Now with me, I, I usually just double click go in here, I don't even, I have 7 zip, but I don't even bother extracting, you can extract, it does work. All you're going to do is you're going to copy that into your Halo custom edition folder. You take all that, right click over, into custom edition, and you add copy. That way you keep a backup file of everything. Now this will take a little bit, not long, about two minutes. Maybe less if you had a faster PC than me. Okay, so when you get to this point, you'll see the destination has three files with the same names. You want to replace the files in the destination with the new ones. And you did to Joe. Then go to your cursed Halo release, close that, put that away in a separate folder. That I'll just put in like a Steam in the holder. I won't use it often. Same with the Halo folder. Now, what we want to do now is basically enter into Halo. Yeah, everything done. Now remember, if you don't add it in the cursed Halo file, and you just download normal custom edition, it won't have campaign. And um, this campaign is a bit modified. Let's enter into Halo. Yeah, all right. So say you want to start with anti-sheet on and you want to click yes. It would take a little bit to load up.
All right, so say this, press OK. I literally just run it again. And then you gotta continue anyway. Then you should be good. That I don't know it's set up so it shows properly. Oh crap, what happened there? Alright. Oh we destroy this back over. Oh. Yeah. So I, I can't be bothered adjusting the file at the moment. So campaign go in. Go new game. Choose any of the things, but I can't play any of the levels yet. Now but multiply play a bit. Great land jam. Let's go with um Death Island. I have a custom mode set up for this. Eh, yeah, that'll be fine. Now, I feel like this first thing you can do with this if you put in the Trace Taylor files, so you can press F6, drag your mouse down like drag your mouse towards you and you can adjust the field of view sort of uh, I recommend a hundred five or hundred four hundred seven ish around there that's my personal favorite and uh the pistol you start off with you click and you shoot yourself you hold it and release and you throw got mine drop bow hold it and let go it shoots mini warthog flag uh giant warthog or mini warthog. Assault rifle is basically a charge up weapon that will explode when it's done. This will track after enemies really like a needler. Charge up and shoot a big one. Very funny. <coughs> oh, this is fun. And your nades, the D20, so it rolls a random damage. It can either insta kill you, or it can not do anything. Now I need to change this rejoining sort of thing. Just a little bit. Now let's see if I can get the uh, shotgun blunder boss. So the blonde of us is that's what this is. <laughs> it's a modified shot. Oh yeah. Hold on, let me also get this as well, this will be useful. This is health. You hold it, makes Minecraft drinking sounds, get health. Jump with this, you shoot, and it has some I I I may have fixed the OBS. You know, so it's bugging me a bit. Let's close that. Just give me a second and I will do it. Turn it on. All right, we want it to stream. Yeah, this, this should do better. Nope. Ah, okay, I see the problem now. Let's turn up you know, the thing. There we go. Hmm. Stretch it. There we go. There we go. And drink that, it gives you back health. If you continue doing it, it will give you a shield overlay. If you just continue doing it on your own, 
shotgun. It has some recoil so you can shotgun jump. The reloading animation. The sniper is a weird one. Uh, okay. And it has a one time zoom, which ain't very useful. It's pretty bad. I don't really use this against other people, so I, I'm not that well experienced with them. And my only goal now is actually just to try and find every single weapon in the game. Uh, try to be able to sort. Uh, well. Now these you have to crouch to get into. Uh, yeah, the torch doesn't work. So this one is called the pew blaster. You shoot it and it has a little pew sound. And it's like a one blast sort of thing. Ah, this is the 180. Right. I get rid of the end is. Oh, here it is. This is the 180 rocket launcher. Instead of shooting forward, it shoots behind you. It's not the best. It's pretty iron. And there's also a. I'm really just trying to find all the way. Weapons. This is the Snarter. You shoot it and they just bounce around and damage anyone. Make little sounds too when you shoot it. Where is it? Yeah, here's a better view at the Pew Blaster. I think that's all the weapons on this map. I'm just trying to look for like one more. Hey, here's the flamethrower. Wait, oh, here it is. Here's a, another one. There's another one other than this. Though, I'm like, what? So this is three shots. Each shot does one damage. Unless you hit the head, in that case, it's an instant kill. So pretty good. This, instead of shooting fire, shoots water. It can make surfaces slippery. And the right click, well, you can just blast with it. Now, I'm going to go find the other one, wherever it is. Ah, uh, here's this. Mind travel, you press F to... No, you press... F to basically melee attack. If you use any other weapon, you basically melee with it. But with this, you just attack. I really can't find the weapon I'm looking for. Maybe it hasn't loaded in in this match as well. It's basically just a Tornet rifle, a little plasma gun that is three of them, so instead of like Halo, it's still good. There's one that comes in the middle. Uh, Alright, oh yeah, there's this one. This is the Doom plasma rifle, or sorry, the bit, known as the Bit Trash one. Really trying to find the uh, other one. Oh yeah, also dose. So I'm not gonna move. Shoot at them, spins you around. You eventually go faster and faster until you're right here. And what I just realized, you guys could just watch Inferno's video. Yeah, yeah. Uh, basically, if you just want to see what everything does, Inferno's got a video explaining everything and showing some clips of him getting some sick 
sick kills with it. I would, but I can't find the specific one that I'm looking for. That's basically this video. Uh, I can't find that other weapon. But you guys can just watch Inferno's video on it. Check it all out. Uh, and I will be putting in links to when I'm doing that stream. Oh. Oh, that's. Okay, so Plasma and Reds split into multiple. I did not actually know that. I don't even think you put that in the video. Alright. Well, it's basically me for now. It's only got to do some other stuff. As well as I gotta get this, uh. <laughs> Everything else set up. Well, basically, that's the video. I'm gonna edit this down now and then upload it. You guys will see it. And, uh, so basically, on the day of the stream, I'll probably put in some details of server name, IP, sort of stuff. If you guys want to join. Because, uh, yeah, we're planning on getting a big match together of a lot of people. Probably not huge, probably 16 plays at most. Just for like a capture the flag match and like blood auction and some other maps. Alright, that's gonna be the end of this video.